Hello guys, how are we all doing? I hope you guys, guys, <laughs> you guys are all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We've got a H&M haul today. I have put in a pretty big order. I'm not gonna lie, probably the biggest order I ever have. And I've just found some like good staples, some good basics, some little bargains in there as well. I've got a couple of homeware bits as well. So if you wanna see what I got from H&M, then get comfy, grab a cuppa, grab some snacks, and let's get into it. So I'll start with the couple of bits that I did get from the homeware section. As you guys know, I am such a lover of homeware shopping, probably more so than fashion, to be honest with you. So if you are new here, firstly, welcome. But I also have like a homeware account for a friend and home on Instagram, if you love the homeware content. And anyway, I picked up a couple of homeware pieces with Easter right around the corner, right around the corner, kind of, it's on its way. I saw these cute little bunny hanging decorations they're also um like because it's got the little loop thing you could switch out and put like the jus you could just take it off and have them just like freestanding they are tiny why are miniature things like this just the cutest if you remember on H&M you do get the odd times that you get offers so I did have a percentage off my entire shop I think it was about 15 percent so um I'll tell you the full prices of these but yeah just bear that in mind because I did pay a little bit less for all of these items and anything that you do want to shop I will leave in the description box linked for you below so these were $3.99 for the set of two I also picked up this metal cake slice which I did used to have one a friend of mine accidentally broke it so I thought I'm gonna pick up another one the one that I had was like a wooden handled one which is fine but obviously can't go in the dishwasher this one's just a pure metal cake slice and I just thought ease you know convenient can bung it in the dishwasher at least I'm hoping you can anyway oh no it says on the back you can't okay <laughs> Well, it's not too hard to clean a cake knife, is it? This was $9.99. I definitely want to do some Easter baking in some upcoming vlogs. So this will come in handy for any cakes that I bake. Then I've got a couple of accessories. Firstly, these sunglasses, which were $11.99. And they're a bit of a different shape for me. Something that I don't have anything like this. Oh, wow, they're quite... I don't know, they're a bit too like fashion for me. I don't know if I'm cool enough to wear these, but I do quite like the shape of them. I just don't know if I like them on me. I feel like they're the sort of sunglasses that I'll like as an accessory to an outfit that I'll just end up bunging on top of my head. But anyway, $11.99, very reasonable in comparison to the designer brands. So yeah, for something like this, which is more of a trend shape, I feel like it's, for me anyway, I prefer to get the cheaper alternative then i got these pair of shoes these are some leather mules i've got some leather loafers from in fact i've got some slip on leather slingbacks as well from h&m although they were our cat no they weren't they were under the stories i get confused with all the shops being on h&m now these ones are actually h&m and yeah i have some h&m leather loafers so the premium price that you pay i do feel like the quality is there with h&m so it's worth paying that little bit extra to get the leather ones so anyway i picked up these leather mules you can see on the base there it says well, i don't know if you can see that it says h&m leather and um, so i sized up to a size seven in these i'm usually like a six and a half they do them in black as well and i just feel like that heel height is perfect for me. Anything more than that, and it's just, I'm just not a fan anymore. And these are the sort of pointed toe, because they're mule style, you could wear them like with a nice summer's dress, or you could also wear them with sort of like jeans, and it looks like you're wearing boots without, you know, like as it's getting warmer, without the need for a full boot on. They were £44. Finally, moving on to the fashion finds. This I thought would be a perfect addition to my spring wardrobe on those cooler spring days. To be honest with you, kind of like the weather we've been having recently, at least here in Manchester, it's been quite mild. Uh, when, yeah, yesterday I went on a run and I got in my car and it said 15 degrees. I was like, well, that's tropical, especially for someone like me who doesn't deal well with the heat. More of a winter baby. But yeah, 19 99 this was, and it's like a denim shirt style jacket that you could obviously wear as a shirt done up. I'm thinking undone, even as a layer over a nice white summer's dress in spring, summer, because of the length of it on a more casual basis with just like some leggings, a basic white tee underneath, wear it undone, roll up the sleeves, maybe even a cap if you're going on a dog walk and your hair needs a wash. <laughs> but yeah, it's in a medium, this one, and I just love this. I think this is a great 
find at 19.99 and like i said because of that discount i had it was even cheaper than that i have a jumper very similar to this that i have bought in the past from h&m and i've even mentioned in a vlog recently when i wore it that it's probably its last winter spring that i can get away with it just because it basically it's near enough identical to this striped jumper it's the same material same length fit and everything but the difference with this one is that the top stripe is beige so because of that i feel like the makeup won't transfer on it straight away to the point where you need to wash it like every time you wear it you know like my other one if i wear it just for even just for half an hour if i've got makeup on and i've put it on there's makeup on the edge whereas this and you know like the jumper doesn't need a full wash um so i feel like because i've washed that one so much it probably is like i said it's last season so i thought to replace it because i have really loved it i would get this I picked this one up in a medium it's 37 pounds but the quality top tier I picked up this as a good base layer. It's a sculpting bodysuit, which is in a small, and it looks very skimpy, but it's just like a thong body, and it's got the kind of cup, cup sort of shape to it. Adjustable straps as well. So this for me is something that is ideal to be worn with maybe jeans, this blazer. Like I would even wear this as a top under a blazer or like a little cardigan for around the house and it was 18 pounds. I still feel like the waistcoat trend will be really nice for spring. I know it was bigger last year and I just thought this one at only 15 pounds would be a good little buy to pick up. Um, I love the color of it, firstly. I couldn't see any matching trousers, otherwise I would have picked them up. I think they had this in like a darker, gray with dark gray trousers but i couldn't see the trousers in this color so i don't know if they're maybe coming or not i'm not sure i think this paired with some white trousers like i said in spring summertime would be lovely with a nice tan gold jewelry to your sunnies on your head 15 pounds as well that was a good find guys i have a lululemon dupe are you ready for this so if you know me you know how much i rave about the Align leggings that I wear from Lululemon. I've got my Amazon dupe ones that I love. For those of you that always ask me, I will link the Lululemon leggings that I love and the Amazon dupe leggings that I love. But the Align leggings that Lululemon do, they also do like different um, clothes as well. So they have a top and it's very similar to this. So I feel like this is a good little dupe for the Align top from Lululemon. It is um, like padded or you've got removable pads in there that you can take out. So really nice. Can you see the neckline? It just kind of like darts into a little V there. So really flattering. I got this one in a medium very very similar to the lululemon one worth the higher price point at 18 pounds i'm very premature with this one but i saw it and it's one of those things that when you see it i just think if you like it you're gonna pick it up because when you go to rebuy it in the summer when you need it it's going to be gone so this is like an asymmetric swimsuit it's got padded cups as well really flattering with the like underwiring so nice and supportive i love that sort of double shoulder dual shoulder one shoulder design um, but otherwise it's just a basic khaki green which i love khaki green probably my favorite color i also picked up a couple basic kind of little bralettes these are sort of the nine pound mark this one is in a large in black just a real smooth seamless one then i also picked up this one again in a large 9.99 the white one which has the removable padding as well um but this one is like a ribbed uh, white. So I have these already in a couple of colours. I decided to pick up this new kind of sage khaki green colour because again I think it's a perfect colour for spring and these trousers, the ankle length trousers at $19.99 are so comfy and nice and high waisted. They've got a slight elasticated bit on the back. Not too much. I feel like you can still get away with um, wearing like a how I tend to wear them, basic white tee, chunky trainers, and nothing on top other than that. Maybe a little lightweight jacket if it is still a bit chilly, but that's honestly how I love to wear them. They are, I would say, a little bit short, so I'd say if you're on the taller side, they probably wouldn't be that great for you. Now, I love a loungewear set, and a new, comfy, but really nice looking loungewear set is just 
I just love it. It makes me really happy, especially as I do work from home and I am home quite a lot. This little matching set I picked up, oh, I feel like the bottoms are gonna be a bit big for me around the waist. But um, in a medium, I got them in the kind of navy colour, something a bit different for me. I feel like navy would be in my colour palette, but I definitely wish I would reach for it more. So I thought I would this time, navy. They've got them in like a beige colour as well, this set, which is stereotypically my go-to. But yeah, switching it up, going with a navy, I feel like as well you can mix and match these, especially this little cardigan top that goes with it. You could totally wear this like with just jeans as a nice little cardigan layer. And again, navy for me, I think I like it. I mean, it's a very dark navy, but yeah, I think I really like it on me. So the top, what did I get the top in? A size medium. So both in a medium, but I definitely think the trouser, I might need to switch them out for a small. So the trousers are $27.99 and the top is also $27.99. I did think I was done buying these at this time of the year as we're starting to move towards spring, but I thought we still get those cooler days in spring. So this is like a little ribbed knit. I love the color of it, super soft, nice kind of long sleeves. It's got one of the sort of split hem on the um, cuff, which I really like. It's nice and long, kind of goes over your wrist. So these are only 18 pounds. So pick one up in a medium, maybe tempted for some more colors. I just feel like they're a good basic to have in your wardrobe. So it's a nice low scoop neck, perfect transitional piece as we move into spring. Okay, this next one is also that kind of transitional item that I thought I would pick up. It's one of these knitted cardigans, which I know are everywhere at the minute and they are, they're really easy to throw on, feel comfortable, but make an outfit look really smart. I've not got like a darker one. So this dark khaki, well, it's more like a forest green actually. It's really deep with the gold buttons. Um, yeah, I picked this one up in a medium. And I know these sort of cardigans can get quite pricey, but this one was 27 pounds. So I feel like that is pretty reasonable for um, a lovely, little nice smart looking top so i would probably wear this with my like cream jeans maybe this is a bit of a wild card for me i will try it and see how i feel about it once it's on but it's one of these kind of like corset style crop tops that i thought with some jeans like i said for jeans in a nice top type of outfit or even if it's not with jeans but my nice wide leg abercrombie uh, like Sloan pants, so like a nice wide leg trouser up, but then a bit skimpier on top. That's how I prefer to dress for an evening. Rather than get my legs out, I would prefer to um, have less on top, because also I get quite hot. I'm the sort of person that feels the heat quite <laughs> easily. So if I'm going out and I'm in like a high neck, long sleeve, I just know I'm gonna be uncomfortable, even if it's just for dinner. So we'll see how I feel about that one medium and it was how much 12.99 picked up this oversized hoodie just a good base to have i have quite a few hoodies definitely don't need any more but i have one in particular that is a zippable one which i have been reaching for lately especially for like when i'm doing yoga or something and i just want a layer to throw on and have undone i have been enjoying that one hoodie that i've got that's zip up like that so i thought i'd pick up another one this one is in a medium it's a lovely kind of neutral white beige kind of color. And it was how much? 19.99, really soft as well that one. Now I did also pick up this one, which is zippable, but it is more of like a mid layer jacket. So it's made from the move range again. This one's more for, I would say, working out, going on a, like a dog walk, a nice long hike somewhere. So it's that mid layer jacket that feels quite thick. But what I really loved about it again is that it's zippable, but also that you've got, um, zippable pockets so that you can pop phone in, poo bags, whatever. It's not gonna, you know, these aren't gonna fall out. One hoodie that I do have for like working out like this kind of fabric doesn't have any zippable pockets. So I decided to pick this one up. It was a bit pricier at 44 pounds. I do feel like I will get quite a bit of use out of this one, especially more so in winter. I just had to go and answer the door. And for those of you that always miss Barney whenever I do a haul video, We've just been on a long walk this morning, haven't we? And you're a little bit wet still. Well, your ears are anyway. You've got cold ears. Can you come up? Oh, you're drooling. What are you drooling for? So what do we have left? Oh, a 
Good little basic tea that I wanted to pick up. These are only 9 99 and they are ribbed teas. So they're a really nice soft fabric. Just something a little bit different to a standard tea. I feel like that ribbed, I don't know, just adds a bit of texture. Um, so a really nice kind of natural mushroom colour. I'm just looking at it in the mirror. Is that going to wash me out or be quite a nice tone for my skin? We'll see when I try it on. But I got it in a medium, but they are slightly more fitted this style. And yeah, $9.99. This one might be a little bit too big. Now I'm looking at it. I don't know why I picked up a large. Maybe there was only one large left. It was 18 pounds and it no i tell you why it's because a lot of sports bras and sports tops i find quite tight and although i'm not a large on the top i do you know like if i am going for a run or working out i don't like to feel super restricted around my waist so i thought i would get a large well, i definitely shouldn't have i should have got a medium i think um so it's this from the move range again in like this lovely i would class it as like a bone color it's kind of a creamy rich creamy color so it's beautiful i really wish i'd got this in my actual size it's got like an inbuilt layer and then a double layer so definitely one that you just wear on its own without the need for another sports bra or top underneath or anything kind of racer style back oh i'm gutted that i didn't buy that in my size well now you know if you like this, they have matching leggings as well. Stay true to size. <laughs> Even if like me, you don't like uh, sports tops being really tight and restrictive when actually working out. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up from H&M. I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. Thumbs up if you have, subscribe for more. All the links will be left in the description box below for you to shop through. Let me know of all of these items, which was your favorite. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.